Lining up next, we have uh, Merkel, who will be sharing more on hackathon best practices. Um, this will be one very important workshop as well for you to know how you can line up for the prizes. So let's welcome Merkel onto the stage. Merkel, the stage is yours. Thank you so much, Justin. Yeah. I'm unsharing. Okay. I really, can you hear me? Yep, all good. I really like uh, Angolak, uh, Eric. That's a great name. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, I said a few things wrong today. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to share my screen. Let me see here how to do this. And you should see it uh, right now. Cool. So, okay. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I'm Mirko. I'm a developer evangelist for MetaMask. I've been uh, kind of running around the hackathon in the Web3 spaces, uh, the Web3 space for a few years already. I used to participate in a lot of them when I was younger. I don't have the energy for it anymore, but I'm on the other side of the uh, kind of organization. Uh, during these years, I uh, kind of built a small framework on what I feel it makes uh, to, to run a successful uh, hackathon to, uh, as, as, as a participant and how to kind of maximize uh, the chance of winning a hackathon. So I'll uh, go through a bit uh, at different stages. So I'll start with the idea, uh, then I'll uh, move to the team. I'll talk about uh, a bit about the tech, uh, the stack, etc. And then I chat about the community and the kind of support uh, that Hackathon participants have, uh, a bit about the challenges, and then I just close with some final thoughts. So cool, let's do it. Let's start uh, from the idea. So what makes a great uh, Hackathon project, uh, especially in Web3, where there is so much stuff going on and so many things to do? So the first important part is to brainstorm uh, the idea. So what I would suggest is identify real world problem, uh, look for some challenge that exists in the current Web3 space, uh, or maybe look uh, at the uh, at Web2 and think about, uh, oh, how would this uh, uh, idea look if I make it uh, decentralized? Maybe there is an app uh, that you really like uh, in the Web2 space and uh, you uh, can think of a good use cases to make it decentralized. Think of any kind of problem that you um, have on your day-to-day -day, uh, that could be solved uh, by blockchain uh, uh, technology and start to brainstorm a session with your team. Uh, or if you are alone, maybe you can uh, brainstorm uh, with your friends or family. And then you can start to uh, write down a few ideas. Use existing tool to facilitate your research. So I'm using on my day-to-day -day a lot uh, just chat GPT just to give me a few ideas uh, about tasks that I want to, uh, maybe I'm working on some tasks and, and I need some suggestion and I use chat GPT. Obviously Google uh, is another great place uh, to research about a specific to topic or project. When you kind of uh, see something that you like, uh, I would say like start to dive deep into this problem, understand that it's entire scope, uh, what solution you could bring on, uh, and now can, you can innovate this space. And also super important, uh, evaluate the feasibility of it. So uh, as if you go to our website, uh, you should be familiar with all the different bounties. Once you identify your idea, kind of read through all our bounties and if, uh, make sure that you know which one uh, could fit uh, uh, best. So for example, if you want to extend uh, some uh, MetaMask core functionality, you probably want to use the OSNAP bounty. Or if you're building a DeFi protocol that is using uh, uh, Infura, Truffle, and other consensus tool, uh, maybe this, this would better suit uh, the make adapt the slaps uh, uh, bounty. Cool. So once you have your idea, another super important part, the team. As uh, Ken Blanchard uh, said, none of us is as smart as all, uh, so all of us. I have no idea who is, but I like the quote. So what, uh, in my opinion, makes like a great team? So complementary skill set. If you're an engineer, you probably want to uh, match with someone that has design skill or data analysis or with a project manager and vice versa, obviously. Collaboration. 
get a good feeling about your team members, make sure you can coll collaborate and communicate with each other. And like, especially on the brainstorming part, it's really important that everyone is really active and really participative and coordinate the task uh, as efficiently you can through the hackathon to make sure you respect the deadline and you create a great project. Uh, inclusivity and diversity, so like for an inclusive environment, embrace diversity in uh, gender, ethnicity, background, perspective. What I noticed about uh, during these years is that diverse team usually make uh, for the uh, strongest team, just because each person uh, can really see things from a different perspective. Find teammates. So the first place where you should look for, uh, if you are looking for this, uh, for teammates, uh, is our Discord. So we have a looking for a team channel. On Zep, there is a social area where you can chat with people and you can find some uh, uh, team member there as well. Obviously, if you already have uh, a current network of uh, people building a Web3, definitely leverage the network. And as a last resource, you can maybe jump on some external Discord, Telegram group, etc., to find uh, like-minded people that want to uh, create a project with you in this hackathon. If you are a solo participant, I actually got this uh, question uh, uh, yesterday on Telegram. Obviously, it might be a bit more challenging if you are a solo participant, uh, but what I would say is if you decide to act on your own, uh, set uh, clear goals to respect each deadline, keep continue loop of communication with us, the mentors, and with the rest of the community. It's really important that you don't isolate yourself. Even if you decide to act on your own, you still have a great network of support uh, from people inside and outside consensus. And obviously prioritize self-care, make sure you don't do too much, make sure that you take good care of your sleep and your nutrition and your mental health. The technology. So what are some of the essential tools uh, that you're gonna uh, need for building a project? Obviously they must have, uh, first of all, is version controlling. Uh, you want to commit your code, you want to commit often, you want to make sure everything is backed up in case anything could happen with your machine. Uh, you can use GitHub, GitLab, uh, or any other software uh, that let you version control your project. Uh, you're going to need an ID, of course, for coding. Uh, I, personally, I personally prefer Visual Studio Code because it has a lot of uh, plugins for uh, Solidity and the rest of the blockchain st stack. I know people like uh, Atom, uh, Sublime Text. Uh, maybe you have another one that you like it. Feel free to comment it. Design and prototyping tools. So Figma is a great tool. I use it uh, very often. It's great for creating uh, a quick prototype. If you want something maybe uh, more kind of classic, traditional, Adobe, it always uh, a great choice. Blockchain related tools. So if you're gonna build uh, an app and you will likely have to deploy it, maybe this is not uh, as relevant for snaps, but obviously if you're building an app, you're gonna need something that helps scaffold your code and also deploy it. I will, uh, I will suggest you Truffle as first choice. Hard Hardat and Foundry are two, two other great solutions. Remix, another one if you want a browser-based solution to, to write and deploy your Solidity code. And then stack-specific. Identify what kind of uh, uh, DAP or what kind of snaps, etc. what you want to build, and then from there decide what you want to use for your stack. Great choices for uh, front-end, uh, React, Angular, Vue. So do you, will you need to connect to MetaMask? If so, I would suggest to look into our MetaMask SDK. We also have the classic way of connecting via MetaMask, which is the normal API injection. Uh, there is Wagmi, which is a library a lot of builders use in the Web3 space uh, to connect to MetaMask. For the CSS uh, slash uh, uh, style part, maybe you want to use something mater material UI or another uh, library. Backend, not the JS. Uh, it's a great choice, always, always uh, in the in the Web three space. Uh, maybe Python if you're doing something like very data focus. 
And for testing, uh, this really depends on what you want to test. But there is, again, hard data and other great tools for the solidity part. If you want to test your, uh, uh, your, uh, uh, da your web app, uh, you're probably going to use, I don't know, NYC, Istanbul, or whatever those, those projects are called. I don't know, I'm engineering in a bit. Uh, yeah, what I would say is keep it simple. Like the less libraries and the less framework you use, it's better, for, in my opinion. Like I prefer seeing less things that do, th do a specific thing really well than having 20 different libraries and then uh, nothing working. Community. So as I mentioned before, like, Web3 is all about community. This is a picture from uh, our Decentraland uh, party that was hosted uh, a couple of years ago. It's really important for you to be active. At the end of the day, everyone here is, uh, wants to make sure that we all have fun, that we're having a great time. And so share your idea, share your thought, your feedback on Discord, uh, log in often into Zep, uh, socialize uh, with other hackers. If you get stuck in your project, uh, I would say that uh, it's very likely that if it's an engineering problem, uh, someone already seen this, this before. So people are usually very friendly and very open in Web3. So you will likely get someone that can help you. And sharing is caring. So make sure you make the best use of all the tools that we give you to socialize in this space. We have a great list of mentors. This is not the entire list. I think there is more than 15, but you can come to us uh, anytime. If, you, if you're having trouble uh, with, uh, with your project or if there is some challenge in your team, anything that could come up, feel free to book a time with us or to ask us on Discord. Uh, so we are always there to make sure that we are okay and that we are doing great. Challenges. So as... Uh, every time you start a project, you will have to overcome a certain challenge, a certain set of challenges. So a few things that I would look out for are time constraint. So there is still uh, uh, more than one month uh, until the deadline. But remember that time goes really fast. So make sure you start to build as early as possible. Don't leave it in the last few weeks. I've done this in the past and has always been a disaster usually when I leave. Uh, the hacking part in the, at the last minute. Team dynamics, uh, it's really important, as I said at the beginning, uh, to have a clear line of communication uh, with your teammates. Uh, sometimes, uh, especially during these uh, long events, it's a bit hard to maintain productivity and morale up. So the, it kind of goes uh, uh, through periods of up and downs, right? But make sure that during this time, uh, you continue to communicate with everyone make sure that everything looks uh, good in your team listen to your uh, teammates uh, uh, etc and obviously look out uh, for yours and their well-being limited resources so web3 is a very new space uh, and it's not uh, the tools around it sometimes are not the most sophisticated uh, so there is uh, still a lot to discover there's still a lot uh, or things that are not great in terms of documentation, etc. So take the time to familiarize yourself with the tools that you're going to use. If you never used before, don't be scared. Make sure that like you uh, do your research, you go out there and get help from the community if you need to. Be really resource, resource, resourceful sorry, <laughs> to deliver a compelling solution. And make sure, obviously, you uh, take in consideration uh, the time limitation uh, of the hackathon. And yeah, final thoughts. Uh, this hackathon, as we said, it really was uh, uh, it, it was created uh, to say, obviously both to celebrate uh, consensus uh, uh, products uh, and consensus as a brand, but also most important to create. Uh, this community and to foster like this relationship with you guys uh, we are uh, for us the most important part uh, is to make sure that builders uh, really like uh, our products uh, that uh, we can get the feedback from you and that uh, during this process uh, of hacking uh, uh, in this in this hackathon uh, everyone is having a great time obviously Hackathons can be challenging, but also they are a great opportunity for learning, growth, and innovation. 
So embrace the, shell, the challenge, uh, collaborate with your team, really stay in touch with us, mentors, uh, focus on creating meaningful, impactful solution. As I said before, we have uh, uh, a lot of tools uh, for you to, uh, to get the help you need. Again, I will recap them. Discord uh, is your first, uh, uh, your first step. So every time you need something, uh, just make sure that you come uh, on Discord and ask us anything. Uh, if you need uh, a teammate, uh, again, Discord is the first place uh, where you will look for your teammate. Uh, make sure you get in touch uh, with us. Uh, this is my Twitter for anything you need. Uh, or uh, you can chat with me on Telegram anytime. I'm available pretty much 24-7. And yeah, I would say enjoy the process uh, and remember to have fun. Uh, good luck, everyone. Uh, and yeah, let's see if there is any question. I'll stop sharing for now. And I feel like I've chat a lot. And what is Mirko Telegram? I'll try to write it down in here. Angelo, if. Uh, let's see, let's see what we got here. Angelo. Oh, yeah, MetaMask Playground. Uh, I think someone was mentioning. Uh, it's a great, that's a great place uh, for if you're going to build something that leverages MetaMask uh, from the playground, uh, you can uh, kind of look at those methods, uh, check what you're going to get uh, in return, etc. cetera. Uh, Clemens uh, uh, brought a great, uh, uh, great message. He left a, a link uh, about uh, uh, not another virtual hackathon recordings guideline. Playground again. What about Readmes, Eric Bichard? Uh, we will uh, send some uh, some link or chat. Uh, cool. I think that's it on my side, and I'll leave it. Uh, I'll, I'll pass it back to Justin, uh, I guess. All right. All right. Uh, thanks, Mirko, for sharing some of the best practices for a hackathon as well. Um, as we mentioned, uh, as I mentioned earlier on at the beginning of the session as well, uh, for those who have uh, attended and stayed throughout all the, uh, all the way to the end, uh, thank you so much. Um, for those uh, who have attended, there might be some surprises that will be dropped in your way, so keep a look out in your inbox in the coming weeks. Uh, as for the mentors availability as well, uh, this will be a great time for my turn to quickly share my screen, so just give me a sec as well. Just give me a sec. So for all those who have actually participated at the hackathon, uh, you would already have access to the builder's guide, uh, which is available on our uh, NAVH Discord, uh, or you can actually access them by via the side panel, which you can see on the left side of your screen as well. Uh, on this uh, Builder's Guide is a comprehensive information for all that you need to know in order for you to tackle the hackathon in itself. If you scroll down below um, to the uh, content, there is a segment that says Get Connected with Mentors and DevRels. Simply click on them and um, you will be able to see all the mentors that are actually available for the hackathon um, to help you along in your journey uh, in terms of building of the project submission as well. There are some mentors that are uh, specific to bounties um, and there are also mentors that are uh, bounty agnostic, which you can see over there. What you can do is actually to simply click on their Calendly link and then they, you will be brought to a page where you can see all their availability that is made throughout the entire hackathon in itself. So what you can do is just kind of pick your favorite mentor or uh, the mentor that you would like to go to, sorry, and then uh, just look at the availability that they have set forth for the next six and a half weeks as well. Um, you would have about, um, depending on the availability, you can have secure time with them and uh, an email will actually be sent to block out the time from both the mentor of your choice and with you as well. So this will be an opportunity for you to actually reach out to them. Uh, the other way that you can actually reach out to them is via Discord. 
um, Discord will also be a space where you can drop any questions related to the bounties that you are tackling. Uh, there are five different channels where all the mentors who are looking after these bounties would be available to answer any of the questions as well. In the meantime, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to drop um, a note to any of the Angel Hack folks in Discord. Uh, or some of us will probably be around for a while and you can feel free to ask us any questions along the day as well. Other than that, uh, thank you all for taking time to join for the live workshops for today as well. Uh, good luck and happy hacking, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>